In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. A Roman Catholic cathedral stands majestically in downtown Los Angeles, the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels, named, of course, for the city in which it stands. However, this cathedral is not old like those in England and Europe that were built centuries ago. This cathedral was built in our own time. In fact, it was completed and dedicated as recently as 2002. It is a massive structure of postmodern architecture adorned mostly in bronze and marble, featuring a series of acute and obtuse angles throughout its interior, with very tall walls on either side of the sanctuary on which the designers wanted to hang works of art. So they hired an artist who developed what they now call the Communion of Saints Tapestries. These sculptured tapestries depict 135 saints going back to the beginning of Christianity, as well as 12 untitled figures, including children of all ages, that represent anonymous people of our own day. The unfortunate thing about developing these tapestries was that the artist did not have many depictions of earlier saints in order to know what they looked like. So he used death masks and early artwork to assist his work. But then he got an idea. He decided to gather people at random off the streets who looked like the particular saints he was trying to paint. People he saw in coffee shops and restaurants, people at the beach, people walking their dogs, ordinary people like you and me. It turns out that most of these people were flattered to be models. Some were believers, others were not. But when they were interviewed about what they had been asked to do, Almost all of them said the same thing. Being a saint, being dressed in the clothes and learning about their saint's story made them want to act like the saint they were modeling. In fact, they said they felt better about their own lives and felt connected to the world in a deeper way than ever before. And the remarkable thing is, they are. They are connected to the saints they modeled. And they are connected to us and to Christ, as every one of us would see if we were fortunate enough to enter this cathedral's magnificent sanctuary. The saints line the walls, and they are all gazing towards the cross above the high altar, as if they are moving towards it, just as the saints did before them, and as the next generations will do in years to come. It is a powerful vision. Now, we may not know each saint's story, but we do know Jesus' story, just as these saints did, and that is a powerful connection. It is a connection that is never lost, even though they are no longer with us on earth. The gospel accounts tell us about Jesus, so in a way, we know him in a historic sense. But it is our faith that really connects us to the mystery of Jesus. We hear the gospel stories about him and the stories of the saints and their encounters of him, 
and we know our own stories, all of which are a part of the greater story. And even though times are different during this pandemic, when we cannot worship in person in church, we still remember Jesus' life, death, and resurrection each time we celebrate the Holy Eucharist here in St. Dunstan's Sanctuary, and in turn are remembered and brought together into the body of Christ, united in our common faith. And this remembering transforms us every time we worship here, so that when we go out after each service, we are renewed and strengthened by the knowledge of our belonging to God and to those who came before us and those who will come after us, knowing that we all belong to God. Today, we pray for those we see no longer, whose lives meant so much to us, those who may have nurtured us, raised us up as children, or were our companions who shared time with us, enjoyed a good laugh, or comforted us when we were sad, or were simply there when we needed them. These saints, may have been your mother or father, a spouse, a son or daughter, sister or brother, a fellow parishioner, a friend. Today, let us imagine each one of them on that cathedral wall, moving together with the other saints towards the altar of God. As Christians, we carry on Jesus' ministry of transforming the world by spreading the kingdom of God in our daily lives. Isn't that what we do with any loved one we see no longer with us? We carry on their vision and make it ours so it will continue to be carried on for years to come by living out our Christian ministry, we honor God, we honor each other, and we honor the lives of those who came before us, whom we honor today. Like them, one day we will join that great multitude standing before the throne, before the Lamb of God, robed in white, with palm branches in our hands, worshiping God and singing, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen.